think we're, uh, I think we're, I think we're good. We're, we're recording now. Mm, I pity the fool. You, you know that you're on a, a video, right? Mm, yeah. I pity the fool. We, we got that part. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's this week in gambling. This Week in Gambling has been made possible by the online portion of World Casino Directory. Trusted online casinos, hundreds of free games, and one of the largest game databases available. All at online.worldcasinodirectory.com. Hello friends, welcome to This Week in Gambling. I'm your host, Jay Todd. Back home in my studio where I'm safe, having spent a week running around Las Vegas filming on the streets and attending the Global Gaming Expo. And, and while I was there, learned some very important information. Mm -hmm. the, the most important thing I learned was that uh, I'm no good on my own, unsupervised, running around the streets of Vegas where there's an exorbitant amount of alcohol. Yeah. We have a lot to talk about on this week's program, including gambling companies and social gaming companies, both making moves. Plus, I'm going to have an update on what's going on in Las Vegas at the Fremont Street Experience in the month of October. But first, this week's big story. Full Tilt Poker has set a date to reopen. It's November 6th of this year. That's, that's less than a month away. Yeah. That's the day when players from around the world are going to log in, grab their money, and run like hell. Except, of course, for players in the United States. Yeah. The feds still are holding our money, and uh, who knows when the hell we're ever going to see a penny of that. On a side note... Howard Letterer, who we all know is tied to the ownership of Full Tilt Poker, was spotted the other day at a high-stakes poker table. Yeah. Guess he found some money laying around somewhere. You know, people always come up to me and they say, J. Todd, um, well, they don't just call me J. Todd. There are other names that they use for me, but, but I can't mention those on the show. But for the purpose of this illustration, uh, they call me J. Todd, and, and they ask me, why do you always talk about land-based gaming and social gaming and online gambling in the same breath on the same show? And my answer is, my friends, because that's where the industry is moving. There was a time when land-based companies wouldn't touch online gambling, and online gambling was strictly an internet phenomenon. But then this thing happened called social gaming. And land-based gaming companies, seeing the value in moving online, said, hey, we can get into this social gaming stuff because it's not really gambling. And the online gambling companies realized they had the software they could provide to these social gaming people, and they all kind of met in the middle. And that, my friends, is where the industry is going. When we come back from our break, I'm going to illustrate this point quite clearly when I cover stories from Shuffle Entertainment, social gaming giant Zynga, and Churchill Downs horse racing. Yeah, all on the same show. Plus an update from the Fremont Street experience about what you can see out there in the month of October. Subscribe to our feed for curated gambling posts and videos. Visit friendfeed.com slash this week in gambling. What's up, smart? Being smart. Yep, just booked my 10th night on hotels.com. So I get a night free. You, me, get away. Really? Where? Anywhere you want. A bed and breakfast? Bed and breakfast, check. A place by the beach? A place by awesome. Oh, you are smart. Accumulate 10 nights and get a night free. Welcome rewards from hotels.com. 
smart. So smart. So, uh, this is, this is real bling, huh? No, not, not all of it. Just uh, imitation. Some of it is real. You know, you can't come out here with all the real stuff. That's right. You get, well, who's going who's gonna, to you know, try to take on Mr. T and try to take his bling? I pity the fool. Not too many people going to try it. Hey everyone, when I come to Vegas, I love visiting the Fremont Street Experience. And here is Tom with me from the Fremont Street Experience to talk about what's going on out here in the month of October. Well, October, this is our fourth annual Fest, and it's a combination of Oktoberfest and Halloween. It goes on the entire month, the first through the 31st. We have uh, three stage shows. Uh, one is called Frankenstein's, one is called and one is called Zombie Rising. And those are nightly on our uh, Main Street, First Street, and Third Street stages. And then uh, we have a festival on uh, October 6th and 7th coming up. And uh, Old Nugget also has a beer festival the third weekend of October. So it's a great place. The weather is beautiful in uh, October. It's the best time of the year here in Las Vegas. It's still warm, but not too hot. And uh, it's a great time to be outdoors. You know, I love coming here because the weather is always wonderful. Even if it's warm, the humidity's down and it's great. And if you're going to be giving away beer, it's a beer fest. You guys got to check this out. I'm, I'm going to try to be here. Thank you so much, Tom. That's what's going on on Fremont in the month of October. Shuffle Entertainment, formerly Shuffle Master, recently announced that they have struck a deal with Joingo. Who's Joingo? Glad you asked. Joingo powers social and mobile technology. Yeah. So what Shuffle Entertainment is going to do is use that technology to deliver mobile games to its clients via the Joingo network. Also, Churchill Downs just announced the appointment of Tom Gay to be the president of their uh, <clears throat> interactive subsidiary. And what will this interactive subsidiary do? Oh, it will handle all their online wagering. And finally, as more and more gaming companies are moving from land base toward online, the biggest social gaming giant of them all, Zynga, has announced that their poker boss is stepping down and leaving the company. Why now? In his words, he's tired of gambling. Not a dollar wagered on the site, but he's tired of gambling. It's hard to say if the timing of this was just bad luck or more signs of all the troubles that are going on internally at Zynga. I guess time will tell. <laughs> You're a riot, man. Who am I talking to tonight? All right, my name is Jonas Prosper. I'm a uh, Mr. T impersonator. Really? I hear you also do Marilyn Monroe. Uh, no. <laughs> you got the pecs for it. Uh, not at all. That's the real deal, folks, let me tell you. All right, can, can people look you up on the internet, or do you just... No, I don't have a website, but they can email me at maxhillsenterprises at gmail.com. All right, you need a Mr. T impersonator? Look him up. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys for watching This Week in Gambling. We'll see you next time. I pity the fool. Give him one more grunt. Uh, hey. Feel better now?